What's up guys, I'm CJ, welcome back to the channel. So I obviously just got back from the gym and I was checking the mail and to my surprise, I saw the little Sephora VIB sale pamphlets. So I don't know if I'm just super out of the loop because they don't really shop at Sephora or if I just am in another world, which is usually where I'm at most of the time. But I thought the Sephora VIB fall sale happened usually later in the year. Like in my mind, I'm thinking, late September or like mid to late September. I just always know that it's usually around when I'm leaving for Congress, which is in October. So am I, am I wrong? Does anybody, is anybody in the comments, does anybody in the comments know, is this earlier than usual? Because I'm totally thrown off thinking that it's earlier than usual. But as you may or may not know, if you are shoppers of Sephora, this is the big sale. The spring sale is 15% off and the fall sale is 20% off. So I have all my little information here. I wanna give you the little bits of information and then I'm gonna get into what I have on my list. So I've never done a Sephora VIB sale wish list recommendation video. So I thought it would be kind of fun to go ahead and sit down and do that. I enjoy watching them. So I want to do that for you guys. Of course, I'm not gonna go out. I have like 20 products here on little note cards. I'm not gonna go out and buy all of them, let's be honest, but these are all things that I'm interested in. Now, before we get into the specifics, there's a few schools of thoughts when it comes to the VIB sale. The first school of thought is, of course, you repurchase products that you know you like, products you use, products you love, because obviously it's better to take advantage of a discount with products you like rather than to just buy them at full price during the regular part of the year. The second school of thought is the one that I align with most, and that is using the sale, using the discount as an opportunity to try new things. So I like to do that because I'm always interested in new and different products. I don't shop at Sephora much. Most of the products you see behind me are from other sources, other places on the internet. So I don't really shop a lot at Sephora. So when I go to Sephora, I'm usually looking for something that's new or different, and 20% off is a great opportunity or is a great reason for me to go ahead and try new things and it just it's a little bit more incentive because I'm not paying full price. So if I don't like it, then it is what it is. I can pass it on, no harm, no foul. And the third school of thought is of course just buying gifts for people. Christmas is gonna come faster than you think, like it's just around the corner. This year is just flying. The end of the year is just coming faster than I am ready for. So Christmas gifts, wedding gifts, birthday gifts, whatever. This is also a good opportunity to go ahead and buy things because saving money has never hurt anybody. And of course, if you use sites like Ebates or anything, you save a little bit more as well because you get some money back. I always talk about using Ebates, but I never end up using it because my brain is usually up the ass. So I'm gonna go ahead and go get give you the little specifics. I don't want to ramble on too long, even though it's been too long already. So the VIB sale starts on Friday, August 24th for VIB Rouge members. That is like early access or something like that. That starts on the 24th. So Rouge members get 20% off, VIB members get 15% off, and the Beauty Insiders get 10% off. So VIB Rouge you get from April, from August 24th until September 3rd, and then VIBs and Insiders get from from August 30th to September 3rd. So we get a little bit like six extra days for Rouge members. You have a little card and they give you a one-time use for online purchases and then you can use this card unlimited in unlimited times in store. They also give you little bits of information. Apparently a new thing that they're doing for Rouge members is they are giving you 1.5 points per dollar spent. So that's nice because they do require you to spend a lot of money to get TV Rouge status, which I've been at, but I'm probably gonna lose it this year. Whatever. So I am just gonna go ahead and crack into the products that I am interested in. This is gonna be a longer video, so grab your Red Bull, grab your water, grab your dog, a blanket, whatever. Let's get into what I am interested in. So the very first product I actually don't have on my cards right here, I have it in front of me, but it's just something that I've been looking at that seems interesting. It comes from Herbivore and it is the Prism Exfoliating Glow Potion. So this is one ounce and it retails for $62 and this isn't like an acid exfoliating serum. So this uses a 5% fruit acid blend, it uses malic, lactic, and glycolic acids along with citric. It also has cockatoo plum for an additional vitamin C punch, and then it has white willow bark extract. This also has a trio of hydrating ingredients, aloe water, rose water, and 
sodium hyaluronate from a vegetable source. So this retails for $62, so for the sale price, for 20% off, it would be $49.06. I'm calculating all of these at the VIB Rouge price because that is what I have. The different prices you will have to calculate on your own. I'm not going to give too much information on each product because we don't have time for that. So the next product that I'm interested in is the Moon Juice Beauty Shroom Acid Exfoliating Potion. This comes from the whole Moon Juice line of things. You probably most know them for their beauty dust. They have a bunch of little different beauty dust that use adaptogenic herbs. So they are now stepping into the skincare world and they've come out with a few different mushroom type products. So the one that I'm really interested in is the Beauty Shroom Exfoliating Acid Potion. This retails for $39. And this uses a blend of AHAs, BHAs, some niacinamide, and reishi mushroom, and it is an exfoliating toner. This retails for $39 and it will be on sale the 20% off sale price would be $31.20. The next product that I'm interested in picking up is the Belif Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. So a long time ago, I was a huge fan of the Belif True Cream Aqua Bomb Moisturizer and then the Belif True Cream Moisturizing Bomb. I love both of those moisturizers. This is the Overnight Sleeping Mask. Of course, Belif is a Korean brand, hence the sleeping mask that comes straight out of Korea. So this is 2.53 ounces and it retails for $34. The 20% off VIB sale price would be $27.20. This, of course, is going to be a jelly-like pudding. It looks like it's going to be quite similar to a Naruko jelly. I love the Naruko jellies, so this is something that I would be interested in that might be a little bit more easy to pick up. So another thing that I really like to pick up at the VIB sales are value slash gift sets. So usually with a gift set, you are saving a certain amount of money because it's in a bundle. So I kind of look at it as you're saving a little bit of money on a bundle and then you're taking a discounted, and then you're also purchasing it for a discounted price. So you really are getting quite a good saving and it also lets you try a lot more products for a lot less money. So there are a couple sets that I'm really interested in. The first one is, and if you're wondering, I've got my little computer Dora right here. So the first one that I'm interested in is the Lancer Lash and Skin Obsession Kit. So this is a $210 value. This has a few different products. This has the Method, the Method Cleanse, which is their cleanser, the Method Polish, which is my absolute favorite physical exfoliating polish, super fine grains, really, really gritty. It will give you a full microdermabrasion in a bottle. And then it follows up with the, Nour the Method Nourish, which is their moisturizer. And then they have a lash intense lash serum product, which is supposed to help promote lash growth and lash fullness, whatever. So that is a $210 value. It's retailing for $150, so it's quite an expensive set. Lantern is quite expensive, but the 20% off VIB sale price would be $120. So that's quite a good saving. You're almost saving $100 from the value to the sale price, so that's a pretty damn good savings. I don't know if I'll be picking it up, but it's something I'm interested in and I'm going to keep my eye on. Like I said, out of these 20 or 22 products, I'm not going to be picking all of them up. I might not pick up any, but these are just ones that I have my eye on. So the next thing that I'm interested in comes from a Pharmacy. And this is a product that I had a little sample of and was actually quite impressed by it. The one I'm really interested in is the Honey Savior All-in-One Skin Repair Salve with Echinacea Green Envy Honey. So this is kind of a super multi-purpose antioxidant honey salve. So it's great for if your skin is super compromised, cracked, just not having it. If your skin is just pissed and nothing is working, this is a product that I would go in with. There's a lot of other things you could use, of course, Sickle Fate from Aven, a bunch of little repair salves, but this is one that I actually did have. My skin was having an absolute go fuck yourself moment and I used a little sample of this and it worked tremendously. So I really like it. I have kind of been hit and miss with pharmacy, but this one has been really great for me and it's also probably one of the highest rated products that they have. So this is 1.6 ounces and it retails for $34. The sale price would be $27.20. Really interested in that one. I think this would be great for anybody that's just having angry skin moments. The next thing that I'm interested in is another little set, and this is something I've been looking at for a hot minute now. So I don't have blackout blinds in my bedroom. We hang up like a little blanket and it just doesn't work. So I've been wanting to get a sleeping mask. The problem with sleeping, sleeping masks though, most of them don't fit my giant head. So I have been really interested in sleep pillowcases and sleeping masks. So their pillowcases are silk pillowcases, which are supposed to be great for your hair, helps reduce breakage and any like static and everything. Silk pillowcases are supposed to be like the gold standard for your hair care, but they also make sleeping masks. So they have a little set that's called the Slip Beauty Sleep To Go 
kit. They have a pink one and a black one. And this comes with, of course, the silk pillowcase and the silk sleeping mask. So this is a $119 value with the 20% off VIP Rouge discount. It would retail for $95.20. So it's a pretty good savings considering they're both in the bundle, you save a little money, and then you get to save money with the discount. So that really is something of all of the things that I might purchase, that's probably something that I'm really, really going to be considering because that is something I've been looking at for a long time now. So the next product that I'm interested in, it comes from Eve Lom. Now I've only ever tried the Eve Lom Balm Cleanser and I absolutely hated it. However, Trini from Trini London, Trini Woodall, she is Caroline Hiron's friend. She has been talking a lot about, or she talked a lot about the Eve Lom Rescue Mask when she said she was having intense acne. That was one thing that she really, really used and turned to. So this is a mask that has camphor, honey, kaolin, and then it has a physical exfoliating property. So this is going to be kind of like a cooling, purifying, antibacterial mask with a little bit of an exfoliating property to it. So this is 1.7 ounces. There's also a 3.4 ounce size, but I did not look at that one. I'm looking at the 1.7 ounce size because I'd just like to try it. It retails for $50 and it would be on a VIB Rouge sale for $40. So I, that's one, another one that I'm quite interested in. It looks like it has quite a bit going on and she really has nothing but great things to say about it. So the next thing that I'm really interested in comes from Fresh and that is the Fresh Black Tea Instant Hydrating Face Mask. Now I think this used to be called the Fresh Black Tea Perfecting Mask. I found a little mini size of it. I don't know why the large size change. It does look like the name changed though. So it's called Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask, but then the name on the printed name is the Instant Hydrating Mask. I don't know, but I want to try the black tea. So my thought was, I wanted to compare the ingredients between the black tea corset moisturizer and the black tea mask, because you get 3.3 ounces of the moisture of the mask for $92, and I think you get like 1 ounce or 1.5 ounces of the moisturizer for in the $90, so I was going to see maybe you could get away with buying the mask, using it as your moisturizer, and save quite a bit of money. But I really have been quite impressed by the black tea line. I go back and forth whether I want to try the essence or not. I... I don't know. I'm not sure. That That's a big maybe. But anyways, the black tea perfecting or hydrating, whatever you want to call it, mask, retails for $92 and the VIB sale price would be $73.60. That's something that I would really like to try. I That's, I think, one of the only black tea fresh products that I haven't tried yet. I unfortunately really, really do like that range. So another brand I've been quite interested in and I've seen so many people talk about, but I've had zero experience with, is Amora Vixa, or Amora Vixa, however you want to say it. So the first product that I'm interested in is another one of, is another little set, and this is the Amorvixa Travel Mask Trio. So this is a $90 value, and it's retailing for $55. So this includes a half ounce size jar of the More Mud Mask, the Deep Cleansing Mask, and the Midnight Radiance Sleeping Mask. The More Mud Mask, I'm curious to see how that compares with my favorite Peter Thomas Roth mask. Of course, Amorvixa is quite a bit more expensive. It's a, it's more of a luxury range. Like I said, retails for $55. It's a $90 value, and with the VIB 20% off, it would be $44. So that's not a bad price considering they are a luxury priced brand. Now, another product that there is that I have been eyeing for two years now, just I've been absolutely just so curious about it. It's the Amorvixa Copper Peel. Now it comes in a one application and an eight application. So the one application is $22 and the eight application is $160. Now yes, that does seem quite steep. However, from the reviews that I've seen, it looks like each app each application would give you multiple applications. So one application might give you two or three. This is a two-step little process. So, so it looks like it has an acid paste and then it has a activator. So it's a two-step process. So I look at this as maybe two to 16 uses or above. So it's a little bit more feasible or a little easier to swallow when you look at it that way. And the one-time use is $22, and with the sale that would come down to $17.60. The eight, t eight applications or eight uses is $160 for the retail price, but would come down to $128. Obviously, the more you buy, the more you save, the bigger the discount. Now, a product I have had so many people recommend to me, obviously, this 
gray color is not my natural hair color. I don't have a natural hair color. My hair just is whatever it is at the moment. So my hair takes a beating. It gets bleached, it gets dyed, it gets whatever in the sun, in the rain, in the cold dirt. It just gets damaged. And I have had so many people recommend Olaplex Hair Perfector Number 3 to me. Now this is like a hair treatment mask product. Everybody who uses it seems to have tremendous results, and I've just yet to try it. It's not terribly expensive, I just haven't picked it up. So, my next product on my wish list is the Olaplex Hair Perfector Number no. 3. It's 3.3 ounces for $28. The 20% off retail, the 20% off discount price would bring it down to $22.40. Now, this is supposed to be great for extremely damaged hair, compromised hair, hair that needs to be strengthened or protected, and it's supposed to help restore the healthy appearance of hair. All of those things I need, especially after my last bleaching process. Uh, I don't know if I've told you guys, but last time I bleached my hair, the neighbor's garbage or the upstairs neighbor's garbage disposal broke and water started streaming down through our ceiling. Needless to say, my 45 minute bleach time that I usually use turned into two hours and my hair was literally breaking off at the halfway point. It was bad. Since then, my hair has been a little bit wide open, my, my cuticles have been a little bit blown, and I'm trying to do everything I can to save it. So, the Olaplex seems like it'd be a great product to use right about now. So that's another one that I more than likely will be picking up. Another hair mask that's on my list is one that I love. Kristen from Beauty Meow first introduced these to me and then I have been purchasing them ever since. And that comes from Amika. So they have a couple different hair masks. The one that I have been using is the Soul Food Mask. It comes in the little orange kind of tie-dye colory bottle. I have the full set shampoo, conditioner, and hair mask. I love that. I use it both as a hair mask, but I actually use most of my hair masks as overnight sleeping masks. So I'll put a good amount in my hair after I shower, leave it in, and I have great results doing it that way. That one retails for $28 and would be on sale for $22.40. It looks like they have an intense version, which is called the Cure Intense Repair Mask, which retails for $38, and it would be on sale for $30.40. So I might check out the intense version because, like I said, I need some intense repair for my hair, and uh, it needs all the help I can get. I'm thirsty now. Give me a second. So Ola Henderson. I'm not usually a big fan of theirs. They're kind of like Paracone to me. They're just generally uninteresting. But they came out with a new product. Actually, two new products. And these ones have caught my attention because it uses an ingredient that I was talking about with somebody about a year ago. So they came out with two products. The first one that I'm going to talk about is the Ola Henderson Glow Cycle Retin Alt Power Serum. So this uses an ingredient called Bakuchiol, and this is touted to be a natural form of retinol. Now we've heard that said about everything. Carrot seed oil, rosehip seed oil, everything is a natural form of retinol, which retinol is vitamin A. That's natural. However, Bakuchiol actually has clinical evidence to give parallel results or have parallel effects to actual retinol. This is an ingredient that I first learned about from Oyeta, who is the founder of Okoko Cosmetiques. She uses Bakuchiol in her Precious 16 oil serum. It seems to be a very promising ingredient. So this doesn't use retinol in it. The ingredients, main ingredients are Bakuchiol, it has some AHAs, some red algae, and then different little botanical extracts to help condition and soften your skin. This is a serum that retails for $58 and it would of course come down to $46.40 with the VIB discount. They also have a sleeping cream that goes along with it. You're supposed to use both, of course. So the second one is the Ola Henderson Good Night Glow Retin Out Sleeping Cream. This is 1.7 ounces and retails for $55. The VIB sale price would be $44. Again, this has algae, some acids, and bakuchiol, so you get a double layer, double dose of the ingredients that are in one. One would be your serum, go a little deeper and the second would be your cream and kind of have like a slower released effect. So those seem quite interesting. I've never been super interested by Ola Henderson, never had great results, but these are two products that seems like they would be quite strong or quite beneficial or quite whatever. And the next product that I'm interested in I have used before and I've actually given it to Kristen is the Amore Pacific Treatment Toner. Now this is 3.4 ounces that retails for $50. The VIB sale price would bring it down to $40. This is more of a little bit more viscous, 
treatment type product. So it uses red ginseng water as the very first ingredient, which I love. It also has water lily in extract to provide an astringent, more purifying property. And then it also has some other ingredients to soothe the skin. So this product provides a lot of different benefits, being really, really hydrating, really skin plumping. It's gonna be more of like a serum-y toner, not just a straightforward hydrating toner. I love this product, and again, you would get it for $40, you'd get it for $10 off with the VIB sale price. The next product I'm interested in is the Sunday Riley Blue Moon Balm. I don't really like traditional cleansing oils. They're a little too thin for me, and most cleansing balms that you find at Sephora are just, they break down too quickly. Like, they're too thin. I like a balm to be a thicker, a little bit more of something to rub in. Like, I actually really do like the balms that don't just absorb or seem to disappear. I like a thicker balm. I like one that you can actually take your time to massage into your face. The Sunday Riley Blue Moon Balm is not one that I've tried yet, and I want to go ahead and give that a go. It looks like it has some sugar particles in it, so it might be exfoliating as well, so it'd be like an exfoliating balm. Uh, that retails for $40, and the VAB sale price would bring it down to 40. Another product I have been really, really curious about comes from Dermadoctor. I've only ever tried one product from them, and that's their exfoliating cleanser. It's nice. So Dermadoctor has this product called the High Potency Daily Body Peel. So these are literally little acid toner pads that you would use like on your face, but it's for your body. I love that idea. You could probably use just a regular toner pad and put it on your body, but I like the idea of it being a little bit of a bigger pad and being specifically made for your body. That seems really nice, and I do like to use acids on my arms and my legs. So this retails for $56, and the VIB sale price would bring it down to $44.80. It's a good sign. They can't ever seem to keep it in stock, either at Ulta or at Sephora, so I think that's a good sign. So it seems like I really need to pick that product up. We are on the last card, y'all. We're almost there. So, the next product I just finished a little mini sample of, you would have seen it in my empties, is the Origins Sulfur Mask. So that retails for $28, you would get it for $22.40, very well priced, it's very effective, you leave it on for 10 minutes, and it's quite comparable to my favorite Peter Thomas Roth Sulfur Mask. Of course, it's half price when you get it from Origins, and I find it to be quite similar in effect. I, of course, still like the Peter Thomas Roth one, but I want to go ahead and use the Origins one again. I used to use that one. Actually, Derek introduced me to that one. I went through a little sample size, and I feel like I need it back in my life. The next product that I want to pick up, or I want to play with, or I want to look into, is from a brand that I've never seen before. I've seen it only online, and that is Edible Beauty. The product I want to test out at some point in time is the Edible Beauty number 3 Exotic Goddess Ageless Serum. So this is a green beauty brand that's new to Sephora or newer to Sephora. I've seen nobody talk about it. So this uses some really nice ingredients. Again, cockatoo plum for some vitamin C, has some hyaluronic acid, some white tea extract, and some acerola cherry. So it does have a lot of different antioxidants and plumping ingredients in it. This product retails for $54 for one ounce, not a terribly priced serum. The VIB sale price would bring it down to $43.20. I really like it. The ingredients look really, really nice, and it also has the addition of beta-glucan, which is a lovely, lovely ingredient. Has anybody had any experience with Edible Beauty? If you've made it this far and you've heard of it or you've used it, comment down below. Tell me something interesting about it. The final thing that I would recommend just to anybody at this sale, pick up some Peter Thomas Roth masks. They have little packs. They have like five sampler packs of them. They have full size products, they might have a jumbo size. Get yourself some Peter Thomas Roth masks and if you take away anything from my recommendation, get the Peter Thomas Roth Irish Warm Mud Mask. It's around 50 or $55. Get the three ounce tub, put it in your refrigerator, put it on your face, and let it sit for one hour. That is going to be my number one recommendation from all of Sephora. Get that one. Save yourself some money. Get it for like 40 bucks. It'll last forever, goes a long way, leave it on. You will love it. If you haven't used it yet, C's Beauty Blog rec recommends, has always recommended, the Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moore Mud Mask. That was a long spiel. Those are my wish list products slash recommendations. Obviously, I will not be picking all of those up because that would be like $1,700 or $1,500, and I ain't spending that much money at Sephora, y'all. That's all I'm gonna say there. Let me know what products do you have on your wish list? Are any of the ones that I recommended on your list? Have you heard of any of the ones I recommended? I thought I found some nice different ones. And uh, I will come back with the Sephora VIB sale haul if I pick anything up. And let me know what you guys are picking up. Let me know what you're interested in. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me for almost 30 minutes. Bye, guys.